Kansas City University is um, actually the oldest medical school in the Kansas City region and so uh, there's great history that's, that exists here and, and actually this, this site that we're in right now actually used to be the old children's hospital so there's tremendous history here. You know, the Kansas City University has been uh, an important part of this Northeast neighborhood for, uh, for over 100 years. Uh, we were founded in 1916 uh, as the fifth osteopathic medical school in the United States. Over that time, we've grown to become the 12th largest medical school in the United States, the largest medical school in Missouri and every state that touches Missouri. KCU is also the um, second largest provider of physicians to both Kansas and Missouri. So, you know, there's, there's great history, there's great reason uh, for the value uh, for KCU. This year we placed 100% uh, of our graduating medical students into residency training programs by the close of business uh, on the match day. Over the last two years, uh, with the changes in our curriculum, uh, with uh, part of that focus uh, has been to assure student success, and this is just one important part of that. They are producing physicians today that uh, we need, you know, for our future. We need them both from a clinical perspective. We also need uh, great new researchers, and that really sort of ties, you know, right into to, to Randy Sheckman. You know, he's a basic researcher. This is a basic science discovery that comes from studying how bacteria work. And uh, I can pretty much guarantee you when he started out, he had no idea that he was ever going to win the Nobel Prize. He was just passionate about basic fundamental research and fundamental understanding about, about cellular function. You know, Dr. Sheckman is a rock star when it comes to scientific research and being able to expose our students, our faculty, and our staff to successful scientists really forms uh, a role model and a mentor. Uh, it will rub off on them. It will have a lasting impact on their pursuit of science and it will make them the best physicians and the best scientists they can be. The opportunity to start the first new medical school in Missouri in almost 50 years is a, an unbelievable opportunity. And Joplin is a fantastic community. Uh, the community's uh, been through some tough times uh, since the tornado in 2011. Uh, with the new medical school being housed on the grounds of the old St. John's Hospital, it really is like the phoenix rising from the ashes. And with that, we'll have a, a new medical school that will help to address a lot of the medical needs of the Joplin community and beyond. So Dr. Sarnoff was a very well-known researcher at the NIH, and he really had a focus on having medical students take a year off from school and have the opportunity to work with physician scientists and really foster um, the environment for research. Um, so I applied. I was able to interview and I'm one of 14 that was selected and so this is such a great place that it's a very easy opportunity to um, say everything that's great about it. The fact that we have a day devoted just to student research, I think it's fantastic bringing in um, speakers from all around the country to speak to us about their work um, and hopefully encourage students to take part in research. The school has definitely put its roots in. Um, the fourth year class just matched and the hospitals they matched to were just amazing and so they're just taking the country by storm. Coming in and doing my um, interview I thought it was a wonderful atmosphere. The professors, the students, the um, people that took us around campus and helped us through the interview process. It just seemed like a really hometown kind of feel and the campus was absolutely gorgeous. It just, it just feels great. I mean you've been here, like this has been here a century. You're part of something big.